Hello, let's try that again. Take two, Facebook Friday. Let's see, for some reason it's not popping up in my feed, which makes me worried that something isn't happening. Let's see if you guys jump on. Um, <laughs> nothing like just waiting. Maybe something's going on with my internet. I don't know. Why is it not showing? All right, I see Elizabeth's popped on. Hi, Elizabeth. Um, for some reason, it's not showing up in my feed. Mary Alice, hi. Okay, so what's going on? You guys see me in the right place? Let me just make sure. Aha, I had to refresh. Isn't that what I always tell you guys to do? Close it, open it again. Okay, in the right place now. Is that an indication of what today's gonna be like? Is it gonna be crazy? We have had a crazy week. There have been more snakes. There was a tornado in the area. I mean, it was, it was a wild, wacky, crazy week. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But I'm glad you guys are here. I'm glad it's Friday. I am ready for Friday. Um, today I'm using Festive and Fun. This is my favorite kind of stamp set. Um, cute animals, cute images, and black line, out, you know, outline, just black line, little uh, drawings where you can color them in with your stamp and blends. Those are my favorite things to use to color, and I love these stamp sets. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, today's projects take a little bit longer because we are coloring them and they are a little bit detailed. So I'm gonna get right to everything. Um, I wanna remind you that if you have not gone to my blog yet, pinkbuckaroo.com, there'll be a free PDF that has all three of today's projects, okay? All right, let me flip you guys around. And I'm gonna run through a bunch of things that I gotta tell you. And then I will, I, while I'm coloring today, I will tell you another story about some snakes. I mean, it, the, the excitement around here, the excitement level is top notch, you guys. Okay, let me move everything out of the way. Um, where do I want to start today? How about, let's do um, all-star tutorial bundle. I don't think I've talked about this in the last couple of weeks, but... The all-star tutorial bundle for this month is Le Shops. Um, this is from the annual catalog. It is a PDF of tutorials, all video tutorials. So the PDF has measurements and supply lists, and then a, like a link or a QR code for you to use to go watch the videos. Um, I have only done one, the rest are by other demonstrators. And so this is free to anybody who spends $50 with me or more in October and I mail them out. Well, I should mail them out once a week. I'm now I'm about every 10 days I'm emailing these out. Um, but if you don't get it, just email me for it. I don't mind. Um, I know some of you don't want to wait for me to get around to it. <laughs> I don't blame you. Uh, my, um, my project this month is a cute little 3D store box, and it's very cute. But this will be the last time I tell you about this, because next time we meet, it'll be November. And November's project I have sitting right over there, that um, All-Star Bundle is going to use the um, All About Autumn Suite, which I love. So I, my projects for November, I think, are pretty good, too. Okay. Let's talk about the retreat. Um, so this is my retreat to go for um, November, okay? I only do a retreat once a year in November. And um, it's a huge goodie box full of things. So you're gonna get nine projects, all right? I don't know why, why it's nine. That seems like an odd number this year, but that's how many I ended up making using both Joy of Noel and Christmas Classics. You're gonna get about $50 in product, brand new unopened product that you'll use on your projects and then you can use to make more Christmas cards and stuff. Um, it's seven cards, one treat holder and one ornament. Um, also, we have some fun, what we call pillow gifts. We include those in retreats. Pillow gifts, the name I had to explain to my husband the other day. So if you go to a retreat somewhere at night, the hostess would leave a little treat for you on your pillow. So we call them pillow gifts, right? Um, obviously, I'm not going to leave them in, on your pillow wherever you are. I'm going to send them in your box. 
and you're gonna get to enjoy them. I always say, you know, set up, clean up your table, set it up like you're at a retreat and take a whole day to yourself and craft with the things that come in your retreat to go box. Um, I have actually already prepped the projects. We are now working on pillow gifts and some other, just other things. Um, I have a certain number of kits, so that's how I can already prep them. Um, I have a handful left. I haven't sold out yet. I know some of you are waiting till November 1st for payday, so I think you'll be all right, but I am gonna cut it off probably next Friday, so we have a firm number. Um, if you would like to register for the retreat to go, um, please email me, or there's a link right here for you on the second page of today's PDF, okay? Um, the retreat to go is just a fun way to spoil yourself, get a big fun box of Christmas crafting. There'll be some yummy treats in there. There'll be some little gifts um, and nine projects and a whole bunch of beautiful product, beautiful Stampin' Up! product for you to use. All the details are there. You can read about it and um, email me if you have any questions. Okay, that is that. Club Create. Oh gosh, you guys. <laughs> Club Create for November. So Club Create for October featured... Um, the autumn, all about autumn suite. And you guys know that stuff has been selling out, selling out, selling out. As soon as it comes back in stock, it sells out. It's just so popular. Um, and so I was hoping I had picked things for November that wouldn't be so popular, but <laughs> wrong, wrong. Everything that we're using is either low inventory or unorderable right now, but due back in time for kits to ship fingers crossed. Um, it's a fun, I said to somebody the other day, it's like Vegas. You're like, you know, spinning the wheel. Am I going to get it today? Am I going to be able to order the product? It's, it's interesting. Um, you know, it's not a problem unique to stamping up. I have tried to order things from multiple companies recently that were out of stock. Um, even Walmart, I tried to order something yesterday from Walmart and it was out of stock. So, it's just the way of the world. And, um, you know, Amazon, I think, has spoiled us it's where we can expect to get what we want when we want it and have it on our doorstep within two days. But um, that's, that's hard to maintain. Um, so anyway, I divert. This is Club Create. And I promise Club Create is going to be awesome when you get it. It's going to have beautiful products in it. Um, Club Create is my subscription club. And it is $45 a month. That includes five projects. Around $20 in product, new, brand new product, um, includes shipping and video and a PDF. And if you stay around for six months, you get $25 uh, product credit. So you can order, you know, a stamp set or whatever you want to be in your sixth kit. Um, the, the deadline for this is the 7th of November. They will ship um, the week of Thanksgiving, probably. I might be able to get them out earlier, depending on product. Um, there is a register. There is a subscription link for this on the Club Create page, which is a tab at the top of my blog. Okay, all right. So that is Club Create. Um, the following month, I really struggled tr trying to decide on December. Uh, you know, I'm trying to like look in my crystal ball and decide what's going to be in stock. But I think December we're going to go ahead and go with Garden Walk. Um, and not do anything Christmassy because obviously I ship them the 21st of the month so you wouldn't get in time for Christmas. You'll be, you'll be sick of Christmas by that time and you'll be ready to move on. Um, I do want to show you, speaking of non-Christmas things, um, starting November 7th, I had to look it up. I was wrong. It's not the 4th. November 7th, we have a new online exclusive release. And we got to order some of it. This isn't even all of it, but we got to order some of it. And I have started playing with the Garden Meadow bundle, which is really, really cute. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these projects. I don't know if it's gonna be a Club Create, or if it's gonna be a Facebook Friday, or if it's gonna be a class, I don't know, but I love it. It's coming on November 7th, so you can order it then. If you do decide to get the starter kit, which I'll mention just in just a minute, you can order this stuff in your starter kit too. Um, you get early access. But the paper, each one is like a painting. I mean, it looks like a painting you would frame in your house. 
And um, so with the projects that I made with it, I really tried to showcase the paper. It's, I mean, literally these are frameable things that I would hang in my house. Um, so that's the paper. There is um, the Garden Walk bundle. And then this bundle, which I haven't even touched. I haven't had time, but oh my gosh, it's so cute. Fluffiest Friends. I don't know what I'm going to do with this one either, but we're going to do something with it because it's very cute. There are some fun little embellishments. Um, and then there's some uh, ribbon and some glimmer paper. Then there's even more things. If you look online, well, on our online sneak peek like heading there's little like you can see little sneak peeks of things that are also coming we didn't get we didn't get to order all of it early just some of it so i can't wait to see what all, all is um so be on the lookout for that in november uh, november 7th okay it's just beautiful isn't that just beautiful the paper i mean really the paper you just put it on a card base put on a sentiment and that's all you have to do because it's so gorgeous Okay, so that is that. Let me move that over here. Um, last time I'm going to tell you about the October starter kit deal. You guys, this is the best starter kit deal we've had. I really do feel that way. Um, you can either get it for 35% off or you can get 35% more product in your kit. And I always have to look down here because it's not on my cheat sheet here. You can get the starter kit for $64.35. You get $125 of product of your choice. Or you get it for $99 and you get $168.75 of product of your choice. Both ship free, both include free registration for our online demo event in November. All right, so this ends October 31st. So make sure if you've been thinking about it, get it done, get it done before the third. Don't wait till the 31st because there's always, somebody's always having tech problems and then something happens and they waited too long. You know, you know how that goes. Um, paper pumpkin. I have a couple of these left. These cute little paper pumpkin kits. Did I open one? You know what? I was really confused, you guys. I, I don't pay close enough attention to paper pumpkin. But this paper pumpkin kit, these go with next month's paper pumpkin. Yeah, they, so October, October and November's kits coordinate. Am, am I getting that right, you guys? I don't pay enough attention because you guys know I'm not a kit person necessarily. Um, so I don't always pay full attention. <laughs> Shocking. Um, but these are add-ons for anybody who's a subscriber. And these are for the November kit. But they, they totally coordinate with this too. Um, I have a couple extra kits. I did hear from a couple of you who's, you know, your credit card doesn't go through. You don't realize it until it's too late. Um, so I always get a couple extra in case somebody is in that situation because I know it's very upsetting when you don't get your paper pumpkin kit. Very upsetting. Okay. Oh, one last thing. I totally forgot to mention this. With the Retreat to Go, there's always an add-on class. Um, the Very Cute class to go is an add-on class for the Retreat, but it's also going to be a class to go standalone by itself. I'm going to list this next week for you guys who aren't doing the Retreat. You can sign up for this class to go. Um, it's six Christmas cards using the very cute suite, okay? Um, so be on the lookout for that. I'll have all the details next week on my blog. Okay, I haven't been looking at comments so that I can focus and get through all of this. Um, how are you guys? Are you good? Is everybody good? Is everybody ready for Halloween? Um, Nancy says, I keep freezing. I have to go in and out back Sometimes completely close out Facebook and open it again, and that, that helps. Um, yes, Carla, right? Okay, good. I'm glad to know I'm not the only one. October and November coordinate. Yeah. I Because I, I went to look at what the next paper pumpkin was. I was like, well, they haven't updated it. And then I realized, oh, wait. It's different. It just looks similar. I know. Okay, prizes. Um Cindy Morgan, you are the winner of the Rocking Horse Bundle. Thanks for sharing. Um, I feel like I have your mailing address, Cindy, but that's kind of a common name, so I ne you never know. You guys, you would be surprised how many double names I have as customers. First name, last name, either exactly alike or super similar. I have shipped things. I actually have, and the Amy's know, I have three Amy's that have the same last name. Three, and they're all different. So... <laughs> 
you never know. You never know. So, uh, Cindy, please let me know where to ship your prize. Thank you for sharing my video. I'm grateful. Look what I have. Two very highly sought after things for next week. The um, All About Autumn paper. I saw it was back on low inventory, you guys. And the ribbon that came back after I shipped Club Create when I had completely given up. It came back. But anyways, I have it for prize. If you would like this as your prize next week, please share the video either on Facebook or YouTube. Let me know you shared in the comments. Please write shared in the comments. That makes it easier for me to pick somebody. Okay, that's it. So this week, Facebook Friday, we are doing festive and fun. Um, if you haven't joined me for Facebook Friday, I always have new people, so I always have to explain so you guys know exactly what we're doing. I pick one product. This week it's festive and fun, and I do three projects with it. And then the three projects have a free PDF over on my blog. They have all the measurements and, uh, or no, all the supplies, and then the measurements down here. Um, on the second page, there's the things that I talked about. And then there's a host code attached. If you like the projects and you'd like me to send you a kit that looks like this, so you can make the three projects. I send it to anybody who puts an online order in by Monday at midnight. That's more than $35 before tax and shipping and uses this host code. I send them for free. Now, everything is in your kit that you need except for the stamped images. It's against Stampin' Up! policy, you guys, for us to stamp an image and send it to you. Um, if you ever see anybody doing that, it's against policy. Um, so you have to do your own stamping, okay? Um, and your own coloring, obviously. I'm not going to color a thousand of these. It'd be awful. <laughs> it would take me five years. But that's the point, right? You want to color. You want to stamp. You want to be creative. And I'm just creating these kits for you. This is what they look like. I always try to send a little thank you tag. But everything you need will be in there. Ribbon, embellishments, cardstock, die cuts. Everything you need. Now, we are using a second stamp set today. The Joy to You stamp set. Um, but other than that, everything will be in there. Okay, so the deadline for that, Monday at midnight, you can order anything you want. If you already have the festive and fun stamp set, you don't have to order it. You can order anything you want. Honestly, I'm not even looking at what you're ordering. Just, I see your order, I see the host code, I print your address, and I send you a kit, okay? All right, shall we get started? I think we shall. Let me take a drink real quick. That was a lot of talking. Um, okay. So the first card is, I think, the one that's going to take the longest. It has a lot of coloring. It is a fun fold gift card holder, okay? And it opens like this. You untie, and then you open and open. And there you go. And that's where your gift card goes, right there in that little flap. Isn't that cute? And we put DSP on the inside. I mean, hello. And this DSP is a um, walk in the forest. DSP, it is our fundraising paper. We always have a product that's our fundraiser. So Stampin' Up! Um, gives a portion of the profit on that product, the whole catalog period to charity. Um, and so that paper is that product this time. And guess what? It's unorderable. <laughs> of course, but that's okay. It's coming back on the, I think it said the week of the 7th. So not very long, okay? Okay, let's get started. We're gonna do our coloring first, and we are going, I've got my blends here. This is a, a funny color combination, this paper. It has a uh, pretty peacock in it, which I wouldn't really think about pretty peacock for Christmas, but Stampin' Up! told us recently the colors that are used the most in the catalog, and I think pretty peacock was like number three. So they used it a lot, and it works. It, it goes well with the gar garden green. Okay, let's see. What am I doing? We're going to stamp this guy in memento black. And then I'm going to try to zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better. I have made um, individual recordings of each of these projects. So if you want to come back, if you need maybe some lessons in coloring or you want to see how I shaded something, you can go over to YouTube and it's zoomed in much better. The quality will be better. Let's see, I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit. There we go. Now, I'm gonna forget that I zoomed in when I try to, to go on. So you guys tell me, start yelling at me. It might take me a few minutes, but I'll see. <laughs> All right, I'm pulling my chair over. And look, I'm gonna get my glasses too, because it's, 
I mean, I just, I have to use them. I have to. And while I'm coloring, I'm going to tell you guys a couple of stories, okay? I have a couple of stories for you. Um, but the first thing I'm going to tell you is that I'm going to take my daffodil light and I'm going to color the giraffe completely, okay? All right, while I start coloring, let me just tell you, suddenly that looked dark. If you haven't been here in a while, a couple of weeks ago, there was a copperhead snake right outside my office door, curled up, ready to strike, ready to take me down. I walked by it three times before I saw it, or maybe twice. I don't know. It felt like a lot. Um, my husband took care of it. Um, we are, we have built a new house out further. I mean, we're not in the country. I would not say we're in the country. We're in a neighborhood, but it's pretty far out in our, our backyard backs up to Government Canyon State Park, okay? So, like, a huge state park right on our property. Um, I'm going to leave this giraffe. I'm going to let that ink set a little bit because I found that as, we, as I add ink to the dots and then start shading, um, it's too much ink and it'll start to bleed out. So, let it sit, okay? So, we're going to move on and color some other things while we wait. Um, so obviously very freaked out about Copperhead. Cop my husband is an outdoorsman, has been his whole life and says he's never seen a Copperhead. So they're elusive, but they're also deadly. They are poisonous and you don't want to mess with them, right? Okay. I'm going to switch over to real red. I'm going to use dark real red. Um, so I was freaked out. I'm looking for snakes everywhere I go, in my house, out of my house, in my car, in my garage, everywhere. I'm just super scared that I'm going to come face to face again and not be so lucky, right? Um, so last week, my husband is out. Um, our pool just got finished uh, last week. Kids have been swimming this weekend. Uh, it was hot and the kids were swimming. And my husband was outside just kind of, I don't even know what he was doing. Oh, I know what he was doing. He was shooting his bow and arrow in the backyard. And he saw Pepper, my little baby, my, sh my schnauzer, messing with something. And he goes over, and it's a coral snake this time, you guys. A coral snake. Do you guys have coral snakes in your area? Coral snakes, when we were kids, there was a rhyme that said red and yellow kill a fellow because it's red, yellow, black, red, yellow, black. And so if you knew red and yellow were next to each other, then you knew it was poisonous. So of course, red and yellow. Yes, coral snake. Now I'm not, I'm not, I don't know. I'm not too freaked out by coral snakes. We had them in the other neighborhood. They're not aggressive. And I know a lot about snakes, unfortunately, you guys, because my husband's telling me all these things. Um, this is pretty peacock, by the way. I don't know if I said that. Um, but it, it's poisonous, right? My dogs are vaccinated for rattlesnakes, and I, they, they believe that they will also cover the copperhead, right? But not coral snakes. I'm going to go back now with my dark crumb cake. So he gets over there and it slithers into the wood pile. Yes, wood pile equals snakes. And I've been saying, can we please get rid of the wood pile? I mean, how often are we going to need a fire here in South Texas? Um, luckily, he was able to find it and he did not kill it. He or After the copperhead, he ordered a snake grabber. It's a long pole with like clamp, like pinchers. So he picked it up, put it in a bucket put it in the car and went and relocated it. Now, okay, fine. For all you snake friends, you were like, oh, save the snake, blah, blah, blah. Okay, fine, he did that. Me, I'm like, kill it. I don't want it and I don't want its friends anywhere near me. So fine, okay, that happened. We're all a little like, oh, that's too poisonous snake. Ooh. My husband leaves to go I don't know where he was going. Hunt. Oh no, he's going on a fishing trip down to the coast. So he leaves. He's going to be gone Sunday, Monday. And my daughter and her best friend are outside in the pool. I just added dark daffodil delight on the left side of his neck and under his chin like that, just to give us a little bit of shadow. You can put some shadow too underneath the ornaments and stuff. Okay. Like that. Um, I'm going to take my old olive light 
and uh, I'm gonna color the whole tree. Water moccasins freak me out. Who just said that? Um, Lisa, anything, if I'm in, a, in the water, to know that a, a poisonous snake could come up, yeah, that makes me, I don't like being in the water where I cannot see my feet, simply because of that possibility. So anyway, okay, husband's gone, girl, uh, Addie and her best friend Carter are outside swimming. I leave to go run an errand. And Addie calls me, FaceTimes me, and is screaming bloody murder. I can't understand what's happening. She turns the camera to, we have a porch, and our porch is up higher. Our foundation is real high. You have to walk up steps to get to our porch. A lot, I mean, our, it's 12 feet off the ground, right? It's high. There, on our, on our patio, we have like a padded furniture, like a little couch and two chairs and some tables, and one of the tables has a glass top on it. Well, she had sat down in the chair and sat there for a little while and looked over and right underneath the glass top, it's like wrought iron that comes up and there's a glass top sitting on top, right under the glass, between the glass and the wrought iron, there is a snake coiled up right there, literally like this far from her. So she's freaking out, but I already know because I'm an expert on snakes now, that if it climbed, it's most likely a rat snake and rat snakes are not gonna hurt you. I'm taking the dark old olive and I'm gonna go in underneath anything that would create a shadow. Um, so, but again, I don't like snakes. To me, I like dead snakes, okay? So I know some of you are like, oh, don't kill it, it's a good snake. I Okay, I understand that, but I don't want to see them or be anywhere around them. So her best friend is a, a boy, he's, um, they're 15 and he's like bulked up. He's like a big football player now. I'm like, okay, Carter, grab the snake grabbers. She she also has FaceTimed my husband. He confirms rat snake, it's not gonna hurt you. But still, it's a snake. So Carter tries to get it, it slithers off under the barbecue grill that's there on the porch. So then now, there it is. It's living there and my husband's not home and I have to think about that stupid snake being on our porch. So I know I'm being a baby. Some of you are rolling your eyes. You live in the country. You're like, ah, oh, I can't believe you're acting like that. I don't, I just don't, I can't. I cannot do snakes, lizards, or bats. I don't like them. I don't like them at all. Um, so anyway, luckily we have a family friend, my mom, her best friend's husband. They don't live far from us. He came over and found the snake for me and relocated it. Now it was pretty small. I'm not going to lie. But I mean, come on, a snake is a snake, am I right? So now I am 10 times more paranoid than I was before. How do I walk around? How do I know they're not in my house? I mean, you guys, how, how do you function when you just know there's gonna be a snake somewhere where you're, I mean, sitting on our patio. If now we're gonna have to take the cushions off every time to, to make sure there's no snakes where where we're sitting. Okay, you guys agree with me? Since says I live on a farm and I hate them. They creep me out. Okay, there's always a few people and there's probably a few on here that, oh, I love snakes, don't kill them. Okay, I'm not that person. <laughs> it's not me, sorry. I, kill it, get rid of it. I don't want it. Um, the, the rat snake apparently will get rid of the rats and the mice, which attract other snakes. Okay, fine. But let's get rid of the rats and mice some other way. Hold on, I gotta find my scissors. Okay, pause and story. Now, here's where this card is a little over the top. This is fussy cut, you guys. Now, you don't have to fussy cut, okay? I have embossed this piece back here. This is for those of us that like to fussy cut but you don't have to. Just stamp your giraffe on this, this white piece instead of fussy cutting, okay? If you want a fussy cut, I'm telling you, it's not that hard. You're just gonna go around it like this, leaving a little white border. And because we are mounting it on a piece of white cardstock, all the cutting edge, the white edge, 
is going to disappear, blend into that white background. But this card could easily not be fussy cut, okay? I'm just telling you guys, this is a little over the top. But, you know, I like to fussy cut. So, anyways, I ordered Snake Away. It's this stuff that you sprinkle around but you have to reapply it every time it rains and it's rained every day this week i know finally we've got rain and of course the husband is gone hunting again this weekend so of course i know the snakes are going to show up now that he is gone <sighs> i just cannot with the snakes we have tarantulas too which okay you know i know some people can't do spiders spiders don't bother me at all like i'm okay now, I don't want it crawling all over me or anything. I mean, I'm not that crazy, but I'm not, you know, I'm not too scared of them. Um, we actually had a tarantula here and it was here for a couple of nights and then the next night it was dead. And we think it was because the exterminator had been here about a week prior and he was eating the bugs that had been, you know, poisoned. Um, scorpions I don't like either. Do you guys have scorpions where you live or is that just a Southwest thing? I think that's just in the Southwest. Tell me if you have scorpions and tell us what state you live in. Scorpions are disgusting. In our other house, we had a scorpion the first day we moved in. It crawled up the back of my leg. <laughs> Talk about traumatizing. Did not sting me. I flicked it off before it had that chance. But that was the last, in 12 years, I never saw another scorpion. Oh, I take that back. One time I left my stamp and scrub on the, in the back uh, yard on the table to dry out in the sun. Snapped it closed, went in. A couple days later, opened it up and there was a dead scorpion inside there. That was the only other time. But that wasn't, I brought it in, you know, like I didn't, it wasn't in the house. So I haven't been too worried. We've had a lot of scorpions here, a lot. And I have a feeling that no amount of exterminator is going to help us because we live out here. Idaho, no scorpions. Um, scorpions in Louisiana. Yep. Oh, no scorpions in Louisiana. Okay, we've got we've got a. Oh, in LA. Okay, Kay says LA. Sorry, sorry. And then V8. God, I have my glasses on too. Has scorpions and rattlesnakes in Los Angeles. Okay. Um. No scorpions in Connecticut. Arizona has scorpions. So it sounds like it's a warm weather, southern thing, scorpions. They're disgusting. They are disgusting. I've been um, stung one time, and it is not something you want to repeat at all. Okay. I think we've talked enough about that. <laughs> I'm sorry to all of you who have the heebie-jeebies now. They're going to have nightmares tonight. Welcome to my life. All right, so the card base. This is just your regular old garden green card base. We've cut the front in half at two and three fourths, okay? And then we've got all this DSP. Um, now, if you are gonna get this in a kit from me next week, be prepared for your paper to be different maybe because I only have, I think I only have two packs and I don't think that they are complete. So you might get different patterns or whatever, but that's the beauty of our paper. All the pa pages are gonna coordinate with each other and you can use whatever. Now the measurements for this also over there on that PDF, that's free for you, okay? Now I have, where's this piece? This is the mini card that opens up and it's gonna go like this, okay? So we're gonna, you're gonna think I'm doing it upside down, but I'm not. Um, this is Pretty Peacock, and I believe this is three by eight and a half, scored in half, at eight and fourth, or four and a fourth. I have embossed this white piece with, what's the embossing folder called? Something snow. Did I not put it on here? Oh, well, I didn't, I looked it up. Oh. Dagnab, but I left it off there. Well, it's the snow embossing folder. If you look it up, you'll find it. Just go to the embossing folder. <laughs> I looked it up. I must have gotten distracted because I'll tell you what happened last night. While we were, um, while I was typing this up and we were watching lessons in chemistry, we need to talk about that too. Um, Charlie came in from outside and started rubbing his face really hard on the carpet all over. 
over and over and over and over again. So I'm like, oh, great. And my daughter said, that's what he did when he was skunked. And I'm like, well, if he was skunked, we would have known. I already did this ahead of time. I stamped this. Isn't this cool? I saw this on the sample in the catalog. The banner is this way. I need to, oh, I need to zoom out. Um, the banner this way instead of this way. They did that on the sample in the catalog, and I thought it was super smart. So embossed with white. We're going to put that right there. So Charlie, I started worrying that he got bit by a snake, but then he calmed down. We think he scratched his eye. That, that was our conclusion. It, I mean, it's one, if it's not one thing, it's the other around here, I tell you. Okay, so see how I did that? Boop, like opens up like that. All right, so then we're just gonna put, oh, and I need to do some stamping on here. Hold on, hold please. And they're over here on this other tray, right here. I need to clean this. Do I have a chamois? Chamois. Here we go. Let's clean it. The little bird is very cute. We're going to stamp the sentiment and pretty peacock. Thanks, Cynthia. Thanks, uh, Mary. Thank you very much. I'm going to stamp that right there. And then, look, there's a bug crawling across my desk right now. Can you guys see it? It's some teeny tiny little bug. <sighs> this, this neighborhood is not for the faint of heart. Little bird down here. And we're just gonna real simply color the bird, his hat and his um, scarf. I'm like, I can't even think of what that is called because we never wear them around here, scarf. And I'm gonna color him crumb cake lights and then I'm just gonna put a little shadow line under him. I guess I need to do a little dot on his beak too, like that. All right. All right. So last but not least, we're gonna add, oh, I forgot to do the ribbon. Okay, we'll fix that in a second. Um, I'm just, storytelling time, I forget to do the things. Nature and stamping with Erica, that's right, Lisa. <laughs> Welcome to my nature talk. I'm so glad you're here. I'm gonna to need to get a snake stamp set now, aren't I? Ew, have we ever had a snake stamp set? I don't think anybody would buy it. I, I'm sorry, I know there's some of you out there who like snakes and I'm offending you, you're offended and I'm sorry. Okay, now the ribbon I messed up. So let's see, can I take this off without completely ruining it? I did. Wow. I'm pretty impressed with myself. Um, okay. So we're going to take the ribbon and actually, you know what? It's got to go under this part. Uh oh, okay. Let's see. This may be a problem. Let's see. I'm going to just lift it carefully. Oh no. I hear ripping. I hear ripping. Don't you hate it when you do this guys, when you adhere something and you forgot. Okay. So now, pretend like we hadn't done that. I'm gonna take my ribbon and I'm gonna go like this, okay? And then, look at that, look how bad that looks. <laughs> I'm just a regular girl ripping cards apart like everybody else. All right, so that is where you put the ribbon, like that, okay? So then you close this and go up here and wrap the ribbon around the back. This is our iridescent, um, iridescent ribbon. I like this ribbon a lot. I hope it carries over into the next catalog. It's a really good kind of universal ribbon. And then we're going to tie that with a bow. Add a few sequins and call it done. Like that. Okay. All right. A few sequins real quick. Let's add these. Because, I mean, come on. You gotta have a couple of sequins, right? Um, how about one right here? All right, there you go. How cute is he? So cute, so, so cute. I love him. I don't know what my favorite image is in this stamp set. I like them all. They're all really good. 
Okay, card one, that was the, the hardest one, but it wasn't really that hard. The fussy cutting, oh, it's kind of probably up there, but you have options. Don't feel like you have to fussy cut, okay? You can always change things to work the way. Um, um, who asked me, um, Kimberly, thank you. Lisa asked me how far am I from Houston? Yeah, about three hours. Depends on who's driving. Lisa says, I mean, Kimberly says three and a half. I say three. <laughs> Although Kimberly does a lot of driving, so she's probably more an expert than I do. Okay. Over here, next card. Now, this, well, I say this next one's my favorite, but honestly... I can't decide this week. All right, we're going to use the rhinoceros this time. He's very cute. And I'm going to show you how to do, we've done this before, the bleed out, um, where you don't completely color them in. You just outline it and use your color lifter. Um, you can see here that I've used a different stamp set, and it's called Joy to You. And we'll get to that in a minute. Let's do our coloring first. Um, this, uh, these are the designer tag dies, which I thought had retired. And I saw a sample from Stampin' Up! And I was like, why'd they use a retired die? And then I realized it's not retired. The um, designer tag dies, really good die set. So we're gonna stamp the Rhino and Friends here. Like that, Memento Black. I'm super thirsty. I know, the rhinoceros is super cute. He's very cute, and he's easy to color. The birds are a little bit harder to color because they're so small. Um, I find, well, when we get there, I'll show you. The, the scarf and stuff is more narrow than our blends, so it's hard to kind of stay in line, but I'm gonna show you a little trick. Okay, I'm gonna take Smoky Slate light. Do I want to try to use the brush tip? I think I'm going to try. And I'm just going to go around the edge, flicking some color like this around and around and around, all the way around the edge. Did I zoom in? I didn't zoom in. Let me see if I can zoom in again. I'm not standing up. I can't tell what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. All right, and around and around and around and around, like that, add a little bit in the air. Now take your color lifter and pull that color to the middle go over it and just you know brush towards the middle and it's going to start to bleed out into the middle and and create a light gray appearance so then we'll do the rest of them the same way so you guys we had a tornado here in town yesterday uh, was it yesterday or day before yesterday day before yesterday. We don't get rain here, like ever. <laughs> and suddenly, it's, I've been telling you guys, weather nerd, okay? El Nino, it's El Nino year, we're supposed to get a lot of rain this winter. Well, I'm hoping that's true because that's what we had this week. We've had quite a bit of rain. We had, I don't know, maybe an inch and a half total out here, which for us is a lot. Um, but apparently, on the other side of town, there was a tornado. And I know some of you live with tornadoes all the time. My friend Patty, if she's here, she lives in Tornado Alley. Scary, scary stuff. But for us San Antonians, it's pretty weird. Pretty unusual. Okay, so I'm gonna let him, if you continue to add ink, it's gonna start bleeding out. And I can see it just wanted to do that right here. So. Be careful, do a little bit and then stop. And if you need to go back, you can do some more. I'm gonna color the wreath in Granny Apple. The color combo here on this card is Poppy Parade and um, Balmy Blue. And this color, this paper right here, let me see, where's my strip of paper, is from the Garden Walk Designer Series paper. And they say that it's Calypso Coral. I checked and checked. I checked in three places, but I'm sorry. That's Flirty Flamingo, isn't it? I don't know. I mean, maybe there's Calypso Coral in there somewhere. Maybe it's on the corrections. I never look at the corrections, so maybe it's on the corrections. Um, 
but it's really cute, this garden walk paper. It's got some things you can use for Christmas, but it's got a lot of things you can use for not Christmas. All right, so I'm gonna use my um, Poppy Parade marker, and I'm gonna color these two presents. I'm gonna go to the birds and color in their hats and their scarves. And like I just mentioned, um, the tip of our marker is wider than the scarf. So just take, instead of setting it down and you know coloring it, just take your the tip and just tap, tap, tap. Tap that color in and that will help you stay in the lines. Just kind of dot it in there. All right, and I'm gonna use, because this little guy overlaps, I'm gonna use the darker poppy parade here for his hat so that we can see some contrast against that present like that. All right, and then balmy blue. Doesn't balmy blue look cute with poppy parade? It's very cute. We'll color the birds. I'm gonna do different things. I'm gonna do this guy, his face and his chest and his um, tail. And then this guy over here, I'm just gonna do his wing. And then this guy over here, I'm gonna do, I'm, I guess I'll do him like the guy up on the top. So they're all a little bit different. Um, I'm giving those two presents right there a little bit of time to dry again, to keep the colors from bleeding into each other because I've added so much ink in one space. All right, so I'm gonna go around to this little bow here. Try to keep it white. We'll do his shoes, um, hello, his skates. And okay, I'm gonna do the bow. All right, like this. So what are you guys doing for Halloween? Are you doing Halloween this weekend? Are you doing Halloween um, anything? Um, we're not really doing anything. Handing out candy, I guess. The girls are doing things with their friends. Um, I'm gonna, I gotta do stripes on this little scarf too. Again, you wanna just tap the color in like that. It, oh, I know what I was gonna tell you guys. So I was telling you about, it's summer here, still summer, hot, hot, hot. Um, but on Sunday night, We've got weather coming, and it's probably coming for you guys too. And big cold front. It's going to be like high of 47 here on Monday. And let me just tell you, that's really cold for here. I know some of you are like, oh, okay. But no, here, everybody's going to be crazy cold. Hi, Judy. You're having a harvest party. Cute. Harvest party sounds fun. Pumpkins, lots of pumpkins. All right, I'm gonna use crumb cake to go under the presents. Um, I'm also gonna take a little bit of crumb cake and just kind of give us a little shadow down here like that. I think I've got everything colored in except the last thing I wanna do. Oh, you know what, I do have pumpkin pie here too for the birds, their little beaks. I left them white yesterday, I think. All right, then my favorite color to use for cheeks is light petal pink. So I gave him some rosy cheeks because he's out in the cold. Rhinoceroses, rhinoceroses, rhinoceri, rhinoceros <laughs> do not live in the cold. Darcy, 47 this morning at six. It was zero in Montana. Darcy, I'm so sorry to hear that. <laughs> that's very cold. That's very cold. Yes, Mary, that's right. Hurricane Otis that hit Acapulco, I know, and we haven't heard much about that, right? There's a big, in case you guys didn't hear, big old hurricane hit Acapulco, and it was like a tropical storm, and then like three hours later, it was like category five, something crazy. So yeah, they've had a really bad time down there. Yes, and it did come up, that's what, what we got this week. Okay, I need my Poppy Parade ink, where did it go? Right here. This stamp set is so cute. Joy to you. My friend Anne Marie was saying how much she loved this stamp set. It really is a good, um, like a typography set that could be a focal point where you could just use this and some cute paper behind it and call it done. Um, so I'm going to use it actually to make kind of like a patterned paper of my own on the back of my card. 
or on the, well, the card front behind the back. You know what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm gonna take, this is a Poppy Parade card base. And I'm gonna just take it and go diagonal. Now, I want you to notice that mine are not straight. They're not gonna be perfectly lined up. They're not gonna be perfect. It doesn't matter because we're putting so much stuff on top of it. Nobody's really gonna be looking like specifically at it. It's just gonna be a pattern in the back, okay? Yesterday, the one I did was awful. It was like all over the place. And I even rolled my stamp, had the edge of the stamp, but it still looked cute, you can't even tell. All right, so like that. Look, there's a bug again. You guys probably can't see it because I'm still zoomed in. Hello, sorry. I forget to unzoom. This bug, it's gotta get out of here. Okay, so just like that. It's not straight. I can see on my iPad, it's very crooked. But it doesn't matter. It's still gonna be very cute. This paper, again, garden walk. We're gonna put a strip right across here like this. I need to trim that. We don't want that hanging off. Then I'm gonna take my rhinoceros and my favorite ribbon right now, this black and white and very vanilla large check ribbon and you go under and then back out like this and we're gonna we're gonna tie that but first let's just put it down with some dimensionals to hold it in place we have no halloween activities this weekend we have a basketball first high school basketball game in kerrville which is a, quite the drive not quite the drive i'm exaggerating it's an hour <laughs> <laughs> it's just further than here um, and I am going by myself because you know husband is hunting um, but I'm excited about that and then Miss Social Butterfly my youngest has a party to go to and the party after that and then she wants to go to Target with her boyfriend and she wants to do this she wants to do that I'm like girl pick one I will take you one way and you better find a friend whose mom can drive you home. Cause I am not here to take you all over town and just wait around for you. She, third kid, I'm telling you. Oh, I had, I had another story for you guys. Speaking of third kid, see that bow? How cute is that? Now, last but not least, oh wait, but wait, I forgot to stamp our sentiment. We gotta actually have a sentiment. My youngest daughter has been wanting a cat. She wants a cat really bad. And I don't know if my mom is here, but my mom calls her dripping water because she never gives up. If she wants something, she is going to drip, drip, drip until you are worn down so far that you're like, I will do anything for you to just stop. She has been like that since she was tiny. I think it's a third child thing. Like that was how she got her way or, you know, got attention. Um, but as a big kid, as a teenager, it's very annoying, very annoying. I don't have anything against cats. I just have three dogs and don't really want another animal. Now I know that cats would maybe help with a snake issue, but also we have coyotes. I'm telling you, it's the wild, wild west out here. And if a coyote finds a cat that's ours and eats it, then that's gonna be sad for everyone. So she's wanted a cat forever and ever and ever. Yes, right, Carla? Third kids. Third kids. Um, Uh-oh, Kimberly says I'm a third kid. <laughs> oh, you do that too. Yes. Okay, you guys, there's this guy on Instagram. What is his name? TJ Throne or something. He does these funny skits. Firstborn, middleborn, thirdborn. I mean, they all have, it's a birth order, and they all have the exact characteristics especially the youngest, so funny. Anyway, she has not given up on the cat. Cat, 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 this has been for years. But the thing is, when she is around a cat, she breaks out in hives and her throat starts closing up, okay? <laughs> she doesn't care, she wants a cat. Do you guys see what I did? I just cut the Mary and the Christmas out and I put it on with dimensionals. The last thing I'm gonna do is add some of these cute adhesive back snowflakes. Um, Look at this package. It came with only one sheet. It was an oopsie. They replaced it for me. Um, 
Anyway, she wants a cat, right? And so because of the snakes, I kind of was like, well, maybe we should get a cat. Um, but I really don't want a cat. I don't know. It's a whole thing around our house. It's been nonstop talking. Well, she had an appointment. Finally, we took her to the allergy doctor because she's been having some issues breathing. And I was worried maybe it was asthma. So they did the allergy test on her. Have you guys had an allergy test before where they put the, the they stamp your back? That's what they called it, stamped. Your, they stamp your back with all kinds of different allergens. And then they can see, I don't like how I did that. I don't like this one right here. Um, then they can see what you're allergic to. I'm sure many of you have had that done. I have not had it done. I saw my husband have it done once. And guess which one was the biggest? The one that swelled the most. It was a cat. Shocker, right? Everything else. She's allergic to everything, basically. But the cat was like, swollen up like this big. And that darn doctor said to her, well, I mean, if you get a cat, you'll eventually get used to it. I'm like, dude, I brought her here to prove that she cannot have a cat. And you just told her that she could have a cat, even though she's very allergic to a cat. <sighs> you guys, I have just been talking nonstop today, not talking about stamping at all. I hope you like this card. It's very cute. And I like the colors a lot. Balmy Blue, um, Poppy Parade, and what I think is Flirty Flamingo. Maybe... I don't know. It looks like the old blushing bride. I don't know. What are you guys saying? Um, the cat would get rid of rats and mice though. Yes, Kimberly, true. But also my friend Anne-Marie, I go to her because she's like the animal expert. She says a copperhead will kill the cat. I'm like, well, there is that too. And coyotes. Um, so Nancy's allergic to dogs. My doctor said we need to get rid of our dogs. So I let her know my husband would get rid of me. <laughs> Well, you know what he did say too? He said, there are some allergy shots you can get and she's deathly afraid of, of needles. And she was already shaking his, her head. And he said, you have to come once a week for 18 weeks to get a shot. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we're not doing that. Nope. Mm -mm. I, I have to be strong and, and not give in to the cat. I mean, it would be a huge mistake. It would be a huge mistake. She would be sick all the time and then she wouldn't want to get rid of the cat because she'd be attached. But she is wearing me down, you guys. You need to pray for me because she is wearing me down. She is something else, that kid. She needs to be a lawyer or in sales, I think. Maybe she'd be really good in sales. Um, get a puppy kid and the allergy wouldn't be so bad. Nancy, that's interesting. I hadn't heard that. Cat will leave pieces for you. Yes, the nurse yesterday said her cat would bring in mice and drop them in her washing machine. <laughs> Mary Alice, I'm glad. I'm all over the place. Shots don't work. Don't let her get a cat be strong. Okay, I will. I will. You guys hold me accountable. Okay, now to th this third project, this last one. I have been talking way too much. Uh, do you guys follow Stamping Up on Instagram and Facebook? They are artisan design team members post, I don't know, maybe like once a week. Amazing projects. And this one... Um, and I don't remember her name. She posted it last week. She made this little treat holder. I mean, I put one of these in here. One of these, um, uh-oh, mine's coming apart. It's so humid here. See, tear and tape does not work here for us. Okay, one of these fits in here. You could also do Hershey Kisses. There's no Christmas candy out yet. That's all I had left over from last year. But it's very cute. And I thought these would be cute if you're having like... um a dinner. These could be like their little after dinner chocolate. You could put like a mint in there. I don't know. It's very cute, but the way that it's made is even cuter. So let me show you. She used it. She used it. <laughs> oh my gosh. She used the nested. I was combining those two. She used the nested essential dies. This is the largest nested essential rectangle and we've cut out two i gotta take these glasses off but where i'm feeling they make me sick she cut two out of dsp this is the joy of christmas designer series paper and one from um poppy parade she used different paper i don't remember what she used something blue right um but i of course had to go red so poppy parade joy of christmas and then hold on you're gonna get your simply scored and on this cardstock one, we're gonna score it a half an inch all the way around. 
all the way around. Cats are so cute, guys. They're so cute. She keeps sending me cute cat videos. I kind of want a cat. I don't want a cat. I don't. I want somebody else to have a cat that I can play with and then it leaves. That's what I want. All right, burnish all your lines. <laughs> she, after the after the doctor's appointment yesterday, she's a chicken. I have to, I mean, we should have gone to the allergy doctor years ago, but she's so scared. I have put it off. Finally, I told her if she would go, I would consider getting a cat. Um, of course, that was a lie. Um, but on the way home, she said, we need to go somewhere on the way home where I can pet cats as my reward. And I was like, girl, you just found out you're like a level five allergic to cats. She doesn't care. She said, I don't care. I said, you could, your throat could swell up and you could die. She said, I don't care. <sighs> to be 15 again. To have not a care in the world. <laughs> okay. I am going to put a little dot of glue. See, I snipped those score lines in the corners. And I'm going to fold it up. The funny thing about having three, three kids is that they are so different. I mean, my three are completely, not one is, is similar to the other. Their personalities, their talents, their strengths, their humor, their anxiety levels. I mean, they're all just so different. I'm using my clothespins to hold this these corners together, okay? Like that. Little clothespins. I linked these today on Amazon because you need to get yourself some of these clothespins. We're going to use them to hold this on too. Just add them to your cart and the next time you get something from Amazon, they'll be there. Okay. The doctor also, this doctor, I really liked him, but he gave us no solutions for all our allergies. He actually told her to stop taking Allegra and only use it when needed. I'm like, okay, you just told me she's allergic to every tree, every weed, every grass, and pretty much everything. But don't, don't take Allegra? I don't know. I don't know. It's very confusing. I have to get my ink pads. I put them away. Hold on. I put everything away. What do we need? We need red and we need blue. What else? And from cake. From cake. Okay. I don't know. I don't understand allergies. I am so fortunate that I don't have allergies. But, oh, cedar. That was the other thing she's very allergic to, cedar. And we are surrounded by cedar trees. Cedar allergies in South Texas are, are a big problem. Big problem for most people. Okay, little bird. Now, do you guys, can you see, I cut off the rubber part right underneath his legs so that I could see exactly where, like his feet would be right on the edge. So I can see exactly where I'm stamping him. I wanted him to touch and I couldn't tell cause you know, there's always a border there. And so I just snipped off that extra rubber. All right, I'm gonna color him pretty much the same as the last project. Balmy blue, his hat will be, well, I'll use Poppy Parade. This DSP actually is Poppy Parade and Cherry Cobbler, which I find is a very strange color combo, but it works. All right, these little guys right here are from, oh, either Joy of, Chris, Joy of Noel or Christmas Classics. I have them all combined on my, did I? I didn't put that on the sheet either, did I? I did not, okay. Well, I was distracted, obviously, last night, not doing my job, writing supplies on there very well. It's either Joy of Noel or Christmas Classics, the ones we're using for a retreat. Okay, so now here's, I'm going to use tear and tape just because it's easy, but as you saw, I really should be using liquid glue here, but we don't have time to sit here and wait for that to dry. So I'm going to take my tear and tape. And I'm just gonna put this box at the bottom like that, okay? And then this one also. The back side's very cute too, little music notes and pecan pie. 
All right, so there is, that's how you are gonna do it. I mean, it's super easy. Then I'm gonna get my little clothespin and I'm actually going to, let's stick these on with glue dots. This is balmy blue and you know what? Look at your dies. I'm sure you have some kind of twig that would work. Some kind of branch or I don't know, holly, something. Look at your dies. I bet you have options here. These dies have been sitting out because I've been using them and I was like, hey, let's use that again. All right, so I've got that kind of over to the side and then I'm gonna put my little bonbon or Hershey Kiss or whatever in there. And then I'm just gonna take my clothespin and clip it like that, okay? Then we gotta put some ribbon on there. Your oldest is a boy and then two girls. My son and youngest daughter are both July babies and are very much like, really? Um, but don't tell them that. Uh, November baby and she's completely different than the other two. Um, your middle, so my, my middle one, and I guess this is a middle child thing. She's very serious. She's very, um, very concerned with right and wrong. <laughs> very, very concerned with people doing what they're supposed to do and people not doing what they're supposed to do. Um, she's, but my youngest is a November baby. She's getting ready to turn 15 next week. And here I get to do driver's ed all over again. Yay. Third time. Can't she, can her sisters just teach her, you guys? This is the iridescent, um, or, no, glitter organdy ribbon. Let me give you the right name. Glittered organdy ribbon. Um, teaching a teenager to drive is my least liked, most hated parenting gig. I do not like it at all. I hate it. And the fact that I have to do it three times seems very, very unfair. <laughs> and my husband and my youngest are like this, so there's no way he's going to be able to teach her. She, he uh, was good with the oldest, but not the youngest for sure. Okay, last but not least, I am really into these enamel effects. I pulled them out um, a few weeks ago and I cannot stop using them. We used them last week. Remember we used it, it's still sitting here on the textural element, the gold. Well, this is the red and I mean, it really, we've got a lot of embellishments that are unorderable right now, but this stuff, look, this will make a dot like your adhesive dots and you got a whole bottle full. See how it just looks like our little dots, our adhesive dots, so cute. The only thing about this is, I told you last week, you have to set it across the room while it's drying. Otherwise, you will set something on it. You will smear it, trust me. All right, so set it across the room. And that's that. Isn't that cute and easy? This is a really good table favor, I think. Also, teacher mailboxes, it would fit nicely. Your coworkers desks, and all you have to put in there is a couple of Hershey Kisses, a couple of nuggets, a little lint truffle, and that's it. And it's so cute. Um, you can use any paper, any colors, any stamps, any holiday. You could use it for Halloween. I mean, this is really clever. It's the nested essential dies. And I think it's very clever. So thank you to the Artisan Design team for designing this. Very cute. Um, yes, Carla. So you can put these also, like get some wax paper and go do, 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 like let it dry. Then you literally have embellishments. You pick them up, stick them on when they're dry. I know. Brilliant, right? Okay, I got to sit this one over here so I don't mess it up. Let's look at our three projects that we did today. I think I think the rhino is my favorite. I, I think I've decided. It's the pink. And then we've got the, the this one. Um, so remember, if you would like these as a make and take kit, free with a minimum $35 order by Monday at midnight, I will cut them Tuesday, ship them Wednesday. Please use this host code unless you decide to order a lot and your order is over $150. Don't use the host code because you'll get stamp and rewards and I'll still send you the projects for free, okay? Um, I forgot what I was going to say. I have two bonus projects I will show you. This one is a swap card and unfortunately I don't know who it's from, but it's cute. See, she put it on here and didn't fussy cut it and it's just as cute. And look, she stamped it in... Uh, melon mambo without coloring it 
still cute, very cute. And I haven't used this paper much. I need to use this, but I love this paper. And then this one, here's the moose. And this will be on my blog on Monday, the, the beaver. Very cute, right? He's got some shimmer you probably can't see. Okay, you guys, that's it. Thank you. Please keep me in your prayers that I don't find a snake this weekend while my husband is out of town. <laughs> um, Carla, yes, you probably asked before I showed you. Cute little moose. It'll be on Monday. Um, thanks, Nina. Thanks, Kimberly. I'm glad you guys joined me today. I'm glad you joined me for my nature talk and my allergy lesson. And um, <laughs> hopefully I'll have some less scary stories for you next week, okay? All right, how do I order this? It kicks me out. Sandra, what is kicking you out? The Stampin' Up! website's kicking you out? Sandra, send me an email, okay? And I will help you. All right, guys, have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you next week. It'll be November, oh my gosh. Bye, guys. <laughs>